Hello, I am Mohsen from Skill Up Online. In today's section, you will be learning about the sub queries, drop by, order by, and aggregate function, and discovering its amazing applications. So the problem statement is write a query to fetch the department wise count of employees. Means in each department, how many employees are there? We have to find out. So understand the question properly. Department wise count of employees means in output what we want. We want two different column. First column, we want a department and second column, we want a count of employees into that department. So see here in HR department, how many employees we have? We have five employees. So department HR, number of employees, five. Just similar to that admin, how many employees we have? Five employees. So for each department, we have to find out the number of employees. So what we will be doing, what we want in the output, department and count of employees. So I will be writing select department as I want the department column in the output. And I want the count of employees. So there is one aggregate function in SQL, count aggregate function. There are in total five aggregate function, maximum, minimum, sum, average, and count. So here we want the count. So we will be using the count aggregate function. And inside the count, either you can pass any column name or either you can use the star. Now, from where we want all this information from employee info table. So guys, if I will execute this query, it will throw an error. See here, it is throwing an error. So there is one limitation. Whenever you are using any aggregate function and along with that aggregate function, if you are mentioning any column name inside the select clause, then you have to use the group by also. Means you have to do the grouping. So here I will be doing group by department. So what I'm saying here, select the department column and give me the count of employees from the employee info table and do the grouping on department column. So see here, I will be getting from HR department. There are five number of employees in admin, five number of employees and in account, there are three employees. So guys here, uh, the another problem statement we have is a write a query to face the details of employees earning the maximum salary. So first I will see my table. This is the good practice guys. So just to see your table first, every time, whenever you are solving any problem statement. So to face the details of employees earning the maximum salary. So here you can see 80,000 is the maximum salary. So I wanted to get the details of this person means this record. I wanted to see in the output because this is the person who is earning the maximum salary. So what I will be doing here, I can write select. I want the details of person who is earning the maximum salary. So what I can do guys here, first I will find out the maximum salary. So for that, I will be writing, give me the maximum salary from this table. What I'm writing simply select maximum salary from the employee info table. So see, this is the maximum salary. Now on top of this, what I can do guys, I can write select star from employee info table where salary in this means this query this is called as the inner query and this is called as the outer query so this query means we are fetching the maximum salary from the table which is 80000 and from this query like select star from employee info where salary is equals to this maximum salary so this is called as the sub query method guys so we are getting the details of employees who are earning the maximum salary. This is the sub query method. So by using this like inner query, you are fetching the maximum salary from the table. And by executing the outer query, what you are doing, you are fetching the details of employee who is earning this maximum salary. There is a one more simple method to solve this problem, guys. What I will be doing, I will be writing select star from employee info and I will be doing order by salary means order the salary column in descending order. Let's see what we are getting in the output. So see here like 80,000, 60, 50, 50, 48. So now the salary column uh, like this table is arranged on the basis of salary column in a descending order. Now I just wanted to see the first record because this is the maximum salary. So here I'm going to use limit one. 
means show me the first record only. Limit one means show me the first record only. So just like this also, you can get the same results. Thanks for joining us. If you want to dive deeper into our courses, head over to skillup.online or get in touch with us at preachers at the skillup.online.